top draw me like one of your French girls, Jack. We're gonna start out with uh, with the pistons and uh, and get the get the cylinders on. Yeah. So this thing this thing should not have an issue after this. What's the number? There it is. <laughs> Tour Custom Cycle Shop. Uh, and here with Mike. Hey guys. Hey. Uh, so we got the little rider right here, guys. Everything is out of the bike. Uh, he's about to start putting everything together. Um, we got a Scream Mini Eagle Stage 3 kit going in this thing. I already have the 475 cam. I'm still getting asked a lot of questions. What cam, what cam? It's just, I've had the 475 cam in it before we started doing all this process. So that's going in that uh, stage three as well. And he's taking out the flywheel, which we're gonna show you, show the assembly, how everything is gonna get put together. Okay. All right, so we got the flywheel here. Yep. This is a brand new flywheel because the other one had some damage on the inside right here. Yep. So we're switching this out. That new, new. And then you're gonna be assembling everything together. Now we're also changing the oilers on this too, right? Uh, yeah, you got a brand new set of oilers in there uh, that are going to be going in here, I should say. The the ones that were in there, we felt like at first there was, the, uh, I think it was the front one that was clogged. And we tried to clean it, or we tried to check it to see if it was operating right or not. A little something came out and, and hit Mike. So, uh, just for the sake of argument, man, we just got brand new ones in there. They've been tested. They, they're operating where they're supposed to be. And we're just going to go forward that way. Good. The line isn't 100% right. And there's also a spring that sits against this. This is a two-piece gear, mm -hmm. scissor gear or whatever you want to call it. As soon as I get it out of the bearing, I can explain it a little bit better. There we go. So, counterbalancer in the front counterbalance the rear and you have your scissor gear in the back here if you can see the split yep you see it move in there okay and what that does is it puts tension on both sides of the gear so it just stops noise
Crankcase is in. It's in. Tomorrow, what are we doing? We're doing jugs and cam or um yeah we're gonna start we're gonna start out with uh with the pistons and uh, and get the get the cylinders on get the gaskets in place torque the heads down uh and then we're gonna move back into the cam compartment tidy all this up put the rockers on and yada 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 away we go yay exciting stuff man yeah buddy huge difference between the uh stock piston and then the screaming eagle piston we got right here is that a huge difference it looks like a huge difference it's all right, the difference. Yeah, it's all right. All we care about is the numbers around here, okay? What? So all we care about is the numbers around here. Just the numbers. Three. What's the number? The Luber, back in action. <laughs> <laughs> Just call him 1-800-KY-LUBER. You, you should come up with a new jingle. That's not really that good. <laughs> that boy oh yeah why are we meeting like this again i don't know it's like every time i see you, you're moving something up for me i'm gonna start calling you the luber the lubricator the lubricator wow or we should just call you ky that's it no don't do that <laughs> I was actually talking to Junior, not you. I thought you were just talking to Brian. No, I was just agreeing. Brian's like, damn, I thought we were having a moment here. <laughs> yeah, they don't come, they don't come very much. Though. Probably just trying to be nice. Oh, up, Mike. Don't have to take the trash out. <laughs> All right, so we are moving right along here. Uh, Mike's adding the rings around the pistons right now. We got this jug on. Uh, the second one's gonna go on next. And um, that might be it for today. And then tomorrow, we're gonna go into the can compartment in here. I can't wait. Dude, this thing's coming together quick. It I is. Enjoy. I, I didn't. I didn't expect it to be going so fast today. You wanna come on this side? No, no, no. Just wanted to uh, show my gorgeous face. <laughs> I saw that shit. <laughs> Dude, I'm almost like a waiter at at, at a restaurant, man. You can't, you can't make faces like that. They spit in your food. That's right. I could draw a wiener on your pistons. You didn't even know. <laughs> <laughs> I'm quick with that graffiti, you know? You're good at it, too. A lot of practice. Spent a lot of years drawing books. You did. Nice. Anything for a laugh, you know? I'm with that. Updated work. What are we up to now? Day two or three of the install. Uh, two. This is day two of the yeah. install. Day 65. What up? <laughs> day 65. I don't have my fucking bullhorn down here to yell at him. Where is it? it? I left it down there. God damn it. God damn it. It's right here. <laughs> <laughs> all right. Uh, what are you up to now? Uh, Working on top heads now? Yeah. I got uh, I got the heads all cleaned up as far as the combustion chamber goes. and. Got all the oil and junk out of it and all the gasket material off. Uh, we're putting your fueling beehive valve springs in here. And uh, they have a 
They have a handful of, of math to go through in order to figure out which which shims need to be used. Sounds uh, complicated. It, it, it is kind of complicated, but what it's for is 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 valve train noise. Mm. It's supposed to cut out the noise and give you the maximum uh, usage of spring. So in other words, if you Milwaukee eight valve train noise suck ass. <laughs> So if you if you don't measure this right and say you put too small uh, you put too small of a, of a shim in there, um, the spring tension won't be heavy enough, and you could possibly damage the spring. In addition to that, you can have a lot of ticking and whatever else going on in the valve train. Gotcha. So there's a little bit of math to go through to figure that out. Going through it now, and then we'll be done with that soon. Nice. Willie, hi. Hope you're well. Miss you, but these colors suck. And do not match your bike, Law of Paula. Feel free to call me for more bike advice. Accent on the bike. He's in one of these three. We got some more progress on on the bike. So cam compartment is all sealed. Everything is in there. Uh, the bottom heads are in as well. So hopefully tomorrow the bike should be done. It's just the uh, rocker arms and studs on top that needs to be put on. Um, then the solid push rods obviously are gonna be going in and just sling the whole thing up, put the exhaust on and turn the bike on and hopefully that works. These are covered right now. These are from uh, Nine Fingers Fabrications. These covers here. These are being used a lot in this shop just to keep everything covered and sealed. They got the covers for the cylinders as well and a bunch of other cool stuff. So. Check out those guys, check out the website. They got a lot of cool stuff on there if you guys do a lot of work at home. I need my bike done. Stop being a bitch. <laughs> I'm looking for stuff. Do you, do you know where it is? I'm looking to get my bike out of here. Oh. It's a good thing I found the lube. You love looking things up, man. <laughs> then on this side, we finally got the primary going back on there. We just gotta put the tensioner on there and a few little things covered up. But looking good so far, pretty good progress with the bike. I just wanna get this thing out of here and get it on the road um, and just give you guys my, my first full impression on it. Cannot wait. I think it's gonna be a, a damn little ripper. And there's Willie's bike, all lonely, untouched, unloved, and unused. Everything's on order. Yeah, we can draw a sharpie and we'll write on your stomach what's the numbers. There you go. Yeah, Tom, draw me like one of your French girls, Jack. Jack, I want you to draw me like one of your French girls. Perfect. <laughs> All right, the day has come all together. Um, the install, how was it put everything together? I, mean, I know you're a master tech, but as far as uh, the Screaming Eagle jugs, uh, you know, all the components together, everything's fine, sounds good. I know you turned it on already without everything here. sounds great so far. I there's there's no noise, there's no noise. Um, it went together pretty easily, I, predictably with the piston rings and all that from Harley Davidson. It was, you know, everything just slides together. There's no, no real math to it. Um, so Harley makes it easy. Yeah. Harley. Um, but I, like I said I'm, uh, over and over again, I enjoy the fact that we did the Beehive valve springs there because it individually uh, uh, sets the spring pressure on each spring. So that's awesome. And then uh, the fueling uh, uh, shims inside your rock arms too to tighten all that up. I forgot about that too. Yeah. So this thing, this thing Ooh. should not have an issue after this. Okay. Now there's just one question. Well, one. Yeah, I got one question. What's the number? There it is. <laughs> you have to push the start button. Up. I know. I'm just like <laughs> anticipating. I'm like. <laughs>
mind. It's got to be tuned. The yeah. idle's got to be messed with, and that'll be done tomorrow. Yeah. Still a little bit of a road left. Still got to. Still got to ride it nice and easy. Uh, he's gonna set. He's gonna put a rev limiter on it. Yeah, mm -hmm. I'm gonna set you at forty-two fifty. Okay. So and like then, I told you before, you got to you know not stay at a solid RPM. Uh, you can you can see what power it has for certain. You can open it wide up if you'd like to, but don't. Don't try to shit on it all the time. I don't. You don't really do wheelies or anything like that. But don't do that either. Not yet. <laughs> <laughs> Not so. All right. So the rev uh, limiter is going to be on until how many miles? You got to go a thousand. A thousand. thousand? Okay. Sweet. And then we'll see who gets there first. You or Sal? I'll go the first. You heard that, Sal? <laughs> it's like it's like I feel like it's like day one, man. Like when I first got it. So super excited, the bike sounds amazing, it sounds better than what I expected and that tapping sound is 100% gone. Um, I, I feel today like I felt when I first bought this bike, like that's the excitement that I have um, in me right now and I just, it's, it's even hard to explain. Um, so obviously now the next step is to put the bike on the dyno, they're going to tune it tomorrow, see what numbers we get out of it and um, after that we're going to take it out for the first ride which I, that's, that's, that's what I'm, that's what I'm like gearing towards the most man, it's like that first initial ride that I'm going to get on this bike. Um, yeah man, Screaming Eagle Stage 3 with a 475 cam, that's what your bike would sound like. <sighs> I hope you guys enjoyed today's video and uh, keep watching. We got a lot, a ton of more stuff that I want to do to this bike. This is, we're like halfway through with the amount of things I want to do with this bike. So if you want to see some more low riders content, you're definitely in the right place. Roguelike content, FXR content, plus a bunch of other cool stuff, you're definitely in the right place. Go ahead, subscribe, hit that bell button so to notify you anytime I upload any type of new content. Also, if you are in the local area, New Jersey, New York, you wanna get some work done to your bike, stop by the Tour Custom Cycle Shop, they'll take care of you. You wanna get your bike sounding like this? Yeah, you, you gotta come here. I'm gonna be linking down all the information down below. You can reach out to Mike. He'll definitely hook you up. Anyways, like always, let the force be with you. Ride safe and enjoy the ride, baby. Peace. <laughs> the Luber back in action. <laughs> Just call him 1 800 KY Luber. Welcome back to the video, guys. We are here at the Torque... Mm -hmm. Torque Custom Cycles. <laughs> <laughs>